Hello, I'm Jane Mallion from the English Cream Tea Company and I thought I'd cover today the top 10 tips on etiquette when you're enjoying your English cream tea. You never know, you might get invited to have tea with the Queen and want to know how it's done really properly. Well, the first tip I'm going to cover is just about the napkin. And it is a napkin in this instance and you're going to have it in half with the fold towards you on your lap. Tip number one. two is going to be about pouring your tea if you get to pour it yourself. Real tea leaves do give the very best flavour but then you're going to need some sort of strainer. My teapot's actually got a strainer inside it. If you're with other people offer to pour theirs first. If it's yours uh, tea first milk second is the done thing. But I'm going to have mine black. The third tip is about how you get the tea into your mouth. Not as simple as it sounds, because do you pick up the saucer and the cup, or just the cup alone? Well, I had to check this one myself, uh, and I checked with William Hansen, who's an etiquette expert, and my pal Miss Souffle, and they know a thing or two. And they reminded me that the answer to whether you pick up the cup and saucer lies in the height of the table. I'm at a low table right now, so you must pick up both the cup and saucer, not just the cup alone. But if you're sitting at a higher table like this one, then it's all right to leave the saucer in place and drink your tea that way. On to the next tip, number four. It's not a little finger out. We used to think that that was the posh way, but in fact, no little finger in. number five is about how to stir your tea. That sounds so obvious, but in fact, there's more to that than meets the eye. Actually, it's not a round and round movement, how we've all done in the past. Um, the posh way is forward and back. And that has to do with sugar cubes, which are probably still offered in the posh hotels. And if you go round and round, the cube just goes on a sort of vortex journey, but forward and back crushes it and does the job. And when you've stirred, none of this <laughs> Spoon back down, uh, ready to then pick up your tea. The next tip, number six, is not to do this. No elbows on the table. Oh, uh, a bit of leaning's not so bad. Best of all, though, hands on your lap when you're not using them. Tip number seven is about the scone, the cream and the jam. And I've got a lovely plate here of plump scones ready to enjoy, freshly baked. Uh, don't worry, I won't eat them all. <laughs> but what you would do is offer them round to everybody else first. Etiquette is actually all about politeness and looking after other people. So the first rule is how to open your scone. And what you don't do is turn it on its side and cut it. No sawing action. <laughs> I'm going to show you, you break your scone and it will kind of just prise apart like that. Yum, yum, yum. Tip number eight is about the cream and jam. Now, apart from the controversy about do you do cream first or jam first, uh, and the Cornish say cream second, if there are communal dishes to share with everybody else at the table, what you don't do is take the communal dish and then put it directly onto your scone from there. Where you put it is onto the side of your plate. So you'd put your portion there and the same with the cream. And then from there, you would load up your scone in the way you like best. Sometimes though, you get given your own individual cream and jam and that makes it easier because there's no sharing so you can do what you want. Never do you pile your scone together and bite into it. That's not considered the best manners. So you leave it in your halves and eat it that way. And of course, the next tip is to enjoy your scone. This really is one of our greatest British traditions. It's something to be proud of. It's a lovely sharing food. It's great by the fireside in winter. It's fantastic in summer too. Uh, but I think that might be enough talking. I've just got to have a bite. Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Using my napkin to dab. Thank you very much. <laughs>